Hi friends, welcome to English Grammar Classes. I am Jijo Abraham. Today we are going to discuss about present perfect continuous tense, its uses and formation. Let's start. Present perfect continuous or present perfect progressive is used to discuss about an unfinished action which has started in past, which was started in past and still going on or still continuing. Then, for example, I have been living in London for two years. That means I started this action before two years and still it is going on. Then you may have a doubt that what is the difference between present perfect continuous and present perfect continuous, uh, sorry, present perfect. So present perfect continuous tense says about an action that uh, started in past, going on at the time of speaking and will be continuing in future too. That means it is going on. Even though it started in past, it is going on. That's what is the meaning communicated by present perfect continuous tense. But when you say that, the same sentence, I have lived in London for two years. That means up to now, I have completed two years. So the period has not been over still it is valiant whether i would stay here or not is not important in this tense that is when present perfect tense is used by the time the time that is completed the or that is completed at the time of speaking is considered important it is not important that uh, whether you would com uh, continue it or not so but it is important in present perfect continuous for example, we can see she has been working here since 2004. Still, she is working. And she will be working here itself. Then, we have been waiting for the bus for two hours. Still, we haven't got the bus. Still, we are waiting. And uh, this may go on for some more time. Then, second case, actions which have recently stopped and have a result. So even though that uh, action is already over, but at the same time, at the time of speaking, still that effect is going on. I am so tired. I have been studying. So studying is already over. But then too, the effect of the thing is there that is stated, I am so tired. Next one, I have been running, so I am really hot. So I have been running all this thing, uh, sorry, all the time uh, when I had been running, I, uh, sorry, it, I was uh, just getting heat and uh, now it is really too hot and uh, I am really hot now. So why this result has happened, the reason is stated in present perfect continuous tense. Next one is the form of this uh, tense. Here subject plus have or has plus been plus past participle form is used. So been is used to sustain the perfect sense and uh, present participle or ing is used to say about the continuity of that particular action. Here has is used with the singular subjects and have is used with the plural subjects. And uh, let's go with the formation of the sentence. I have been living here for 10 years. She has been studying English for 5 hours. So all these actions are going on. If you want to make the negative, please take care that soon after have or has, you have to add not or n apostrophe t. Don't try to add not after be. It is right to use not after have or has. For example, I have not been playing with her since we quarreled. She has not been studying for a long time. She has not been uh, studying or she hasn't been studying. Then next one is the formation of interrogative. Since have and has 
are considered to be the auxiliaries. They are to be placed in front of the subject. And add a question mark at the end. The sentence changes to question. You have been uh, playing or you have been living. Have you been living here? Then if you want to add a WH word, you can just add before this question, then it changes to WH question. How long have you been living here? She has been studying for two hours. She has not been studying, negative. Has she been studying? That is yes or no interrogative type or yes or no question. Then how long has she been studying? That is WH question uh, is done over there. If you want to make the negative interrogative, haven't or hasn't is to be added before the sentence. It changes into a negative question. Haven't you been living here? Or have you not been living here? Then next one, why has she not been studying? Not why hasn't she been studying? It is wrong to say. Why has she not been studying? So, it is the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you an amazing day. Please share, like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.